Duke from Duke's Trains. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Scale Trains Green Buyer 5188 Cubic Foot Covered Hopper. Now this car retails for about $32 and I bought it from an online popular retailer for about that same price. So thank you and please enjoy the, the video. The model comes nicely packaged in a two-piece cardboard cu case. Remove the cardboard case here and you can take a look at the actual model. Behind the actual model is history. Please blow up to 1080p and pause the video right now to read all of this history. The model comes in a nice jewel case with the Scale Trains logo on both sides. Here we see what was actually inside the box. And the Scale Trains logo on the other side. We'll remove the jewel case, remove, remove the top, and see the model nicely in there inside of a another piece of plastic and then covered in soft plastic wrap. This box does a very nice job of protecting the model. I would recommend this box for any modeler who would like to protect their cars from being destroyed or damaged. My model is decorated for Kansas City Southern 286896. Scale Trains does offer other paint schemes of this model as well. This model is equipped with two scale trains knuckle couplers. The knuckle couplers on both sides of this freight car are in gauge according to the micro trains height gauge. According to the NMRA standards gauge, the wheels on all this car are in gauge. The paint on this model is thin and opaque. All of the tiny markings can be read with magnification. From knuckle coupler to knuckle coupler, this car is about four and 4.25 inches long, approximately 22 centimeters for our friends over in Europe and other countries. This car is very free rolling. It rolls very well, even on an inclined slope. On top of the car, we can see many other separately applied grab irons and other details. We see the photo etched walkways, the white top, and we also see some grab irons along the side. The ends of these cars are very detailed as well. Let's have a look at the other end. At the other end, we can see even more detail, including a brake wheel and some air reservoirs for braking. In my opinion, this hopper car would make a very good addition to some modelers' modern era freight trains. This is why I would recommend it to any of those N-scale modelers.